Hello, welcome back. So today we are going to discuss uh, the topic output values, how you captured the runtime data from the application. Obviously, like you are going to get a lot of requests from your team. They provide you the data, and then um, so you are going to provide the output. Say, for example, they send you the say. 10 data variations and then they ask you to create 10 different orders on the application. So once you run your script then ultimately you are going to send them back what are the orders that are created for the data what they sent, right? So how to capture those order numbers? So that's where the output values is the functionality in QTP to capture the runtime data. Again there are different types of output values standard output value, text, text area, database and XML. Depends on from where you want to capture the data, whether it's from the database or from XML tag or the node value or from the text box or from the property of an object. So you're going to use different output values. So today we're going to do the exercise how you're going to output value from the text box. So today we're going to continue with the with the scripting what we did in the parameterization part so if you haven't gone through that video please pause this and then first watch the parameterization video that way you will get the concept how to do the parameterization and then uh, you continue with this video because this is what the parameterization script what we did in that parameterization demo video so once you're done with this parameterization so how you are going to do the output values so basically you're going to look at where you are using um, with the alpha pack to screen right so this is where you you insert the order so once the order gets inserted then you you get that order displayed in this text box if you look at the active screen so after it clicks this insert order button you got that order number so you want to capture this order number what is um, what the application generates here, what the application outputs, because this happens at runtime, right? So this is the runtime data you want to capture. Not only the order number, okay, now I want to capture, say, total pricing, or the individual ticket price, or I want to capture the flight number. You can capture any of these, because all this data that generates automatically by the application at runtime, then you can capture all this runtime data using this output values because these are all the text boxes you're going to use pretty much the text output value all you have to do is right click on this and then select insert output value okay select and then because you know right now it's like you are in the insert order line right so now you're going to right click on this insert output value and then so you'll get output value properties window click OK okay now it's going to bring one more window output values so order number so now you're going to stop waiting and then so this is the text I want to verify you're going to select that part and then click on this modify button because the text holds that value that is the property and then you can modify this uh, say order number okay so order number again make sure there are no spaces when you name it and then click OK and click okay so you're going to say after current step after insert order you're going to put this output value okay you select after insert order because you are now on insert order step so after insert order you're going to capture the order number you select after current step and then click OK so that's it so you see one um, output value line insert into your script again here also just I want to handle my script in a rude way Say, saying that I want to wait here for a certain time something like 20 seconds after the insert order button 
because after insert order click my application is going to take some time that's why I'm asking my script to wait for 20 seconds this I would wait sometimes the QTP script don't like me but I'm going to uh, I'm going to tell how you can handle in a smart way in my synchronization video all right so we're good and now let's try to run the script Okay, so it's trying to run the first iteration now. Okay, so it's trying to enter all this data, create this order. And it's trying to insert order now. And once you get this order displayed, then it's trying to capture that order. So now the order number is 334. because I behaved very rude way with my script wait for 20 seconds okay now it's trying to capture the order number and then close the application so now it's trying to run the second iteration Right, so it's doing for the second one now. so the order is almost done and it captures that order number also okay so it closed the application and finally she's going to prepare the results okay so now it's generating the results and let's try to look at the results okay so display the results Okay, so this is actually you know, I, I got my test results 
all those two iterations are passed and here you have to understand the concept the runtime data table and the design time data table so whatever the input that you provide to your script this is called the design time data table that means you are, you input the data and the script is going to use this data this is the design time data table whereas in the results you will get the runtime data table so this is basically the runtime data table is going to contain what is the data output so you see here it captures all those order numbers so this way you are going to provide so even you can export all this data into an excel sheet you can say file export and then you can select uh, the excel uh, that's the default scene and you can name it okay this is my order data something the, that's the name of the excel save it and send it back to your team okay this is what the orders that got created okay so that's uh, basically the difference the runtime and uh, design time data table so runtime data table is um, where you get the results it output the data or the application generates and uh, runtime design time data table is where it's going to input the data so the script is going to read the data so there are different other checkpoints like uh, where you can use the database in XML those kind of checkpoints or the output values so we're going to discuss um, in my other videos thank you thanks for coming and thanks for watching my video talk to you soon have a good day